Well, Ryan, tell us about your first game. How was that for you? <laughs> uh, you know, dream come true. It was a lot of fun playing out there. Um, I'm glad to get the win. There's, you know, it's a really good game and uh, it's a lot of fun playing out there. So you're sitting on the bench watching a guy put on an unbelievable performance like that. What's crossing your mind? Uh, you know, he's kind of in like wow about it. You know, he's just you know, him and Leon and uh, you know Nuge are just so good and it's so fun to watch them. And you know, you're glad to be on uh, you know on their team. So it's uh, it's been a lot of fun watching them play. Jim Matheson, Post Media. A couple of things, Ryan. Um, when you're playing your first game, you're obviously nervous. Um, you touched the puck a lot and you got to play a lot. Was it one of those games where it wasn't such a close game where all of a sudden they, the coach cut the bench down and you didn't get a chance to play? You ended up playing 12 and a half minutes. So was that just about, you know, the, the best case scenario for you? Yeah, it was nice. I, uh, you know, felt, uh, you know, better as the game went on. I think, you know, my confidence the puck, you know, grew. And, um, you know, luckily I was able to get out there a, a pretty good amount. And, uh, you know, I was happy with how it went. And you got hit the one time there. How'd that feel? <laughs> it was good. Woke me up a bit. <laughs> Daniel Nugent Bowman, The Athletic. Hey, Ryan. Um, Jay Woodcroft says that you're the type of guy that doesn't need to score three points to impact the game. Did you do you feel that tonight that you were able to impact the, the game without obviously chipping in offensively? Uh, yeah, I think uh, you know it was good. I, I, I think I played hard. You know, I used my speed pretty well, and uh, you know, won some faceoffs. So it was uh, it was nice being out there, and I think you know, I helped them you know, get the job done. Any uh, kind of mementos or, or uh, keepsakes that you'll take from from the game tonight? Uh, the you get a puck or anything? Yeah, yeah, the ref actually came over and gave me the puck, and then you know they're all saying congrats and stuff. So it was uh, it was really nice. Great, congratulations. Thank you, Jason Greger, TSN twelve sixty. Brian, the uh, first NHL game is obviously a, a dream come true. Uh, do you catch yourself at any point on the bench, uh, maybe watching ninety seven, like? puts on another clinic and it's just coincides with your first NHL game must make it a little bit more memorable. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, they're kind of first shift. The guys are like, it's, it's a little bit different watching them at ice level than, you know, on the TV. So you know, a couple of shifts, I was kind of just, you know, watching them out there and uh, you know, it's fun. He's a uh, you know, great player and you know, he did well tonight. So it was a lot of fun to watch him. And then what about, you know, opposition guys, you know, you, I think you were 60% in the face off tonight. Was, was there kind of like a, wow, I did the NHL moment for you tonight. Yeah, I mean they're a great team. They have a lot of you know skilled players. You, you know, I've like you know, kind of like growing up watching, and uh, it was a lot of fun to go out there and compete against them. And uh, I'm just happy we had to win tonight. Tony Brar, Oilers TV. Hey Ryan, congratulations on your first game. Um, you talked about Leon Drysaddle and Connor McDavid, and they put out a show that they did tonight. To know that you are entering the next chapter of your life and you'll be rubbing shoulders with these guys frequently and, and potentially learning from them for, for years to come, what does that mean to you? You know, it's unreal. I mean, you get to play with the best every night. Uh, you know, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to, you know, uh, get to practice with them and, you know, see their tendencies and, uh, you know, kind of give you tips going on, going forward. So, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it and it's, uh, it's an exciting time. Uh, for some players, they're welcome to the NHL moment happens right before puck drop or lining up alongside a player they idolized growing up. I know it's right after the game, so I apologize if you can't answer this right now, but was there a welcome to the NHL moment for you today? I think just, you know, first shift, you know, hopping on with the boards and getting on the ice. It's uh, you know, a dream come true. You've been, you know, thinking about this day for, you know, kind of your whole life growing up and uh, finally get the chance. It's, uh, you know, it was really unreal. Thank you. Mark Spector, Sportsnet. Hey, congratulations, Ryan. Who's the first person you're going to phone after the game? Probably my uh, mom. <laughs> Your mom? But what do you think she's going to say? Uh, probably that she's just, you know, really proud of me and uh, you know, just asked me how the game went and how, she, how it felt. <laughs> All right. Congratulations. Thank you.